when you're burning fat, it's not the same as you burning body fat. And these things get, they get really conflated. People get really confused and jumbled up. And it is kind of, a lot of this stuff is confusing. It's like, how in the fuck is a sugar fast going to help someone with type two diabetes? That doesn't sound like it makes any sense at all. But if, if you put it in this perspective, a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet is somebody hiding from insulin resistance. They're giving their insulin resistance a giant break, but they're not doing anything to ever fix it or to try to cure it. In the case of bringing in some of these sugars, you're giving yourself a really good opportunity to get used used to some of these sugars. And the di biggest difference with starch is starch requires more insulin. You know, fruits fruits are not you know just fructose. There's other sugars in fruit, but a lot of a lot of fruit is you know I think it's 50 50 usually with fructose and sucrose. Some fruits have starches in them, and there's some people that have actually noticed this is how sensitive the body can be. There's some people who've noticed that they weren't able to lose weight when they brought in dates and bananas because right. dates and bananas have some starch in them. It's like, right. wow, that's pretty wild. So there's some people who had to really narrow down. And, and when you think about it that way, you're like, okay, well, shit, that sounds like regular dieting because when you really narrow things down to chicken breast and broccoli and, and uh, half a scoop of rice, of course you're going to get shredded.